how to load your battery. And this time I'm going to show you some tricks about um, Raspberry Pi power supply. And at first step um, I want to show you how to charge a battery manually. So this is a 9, 9 volt uh, battery, rechargeable. And um, we have here a supply of 9 volts, so I can I can set the voltage here. I'm going a bit over 9 volt, but not too much, because we want to charge. So, and uh, this is my multimeter. With this multimeter, I can measure the voltage. So I am setting it to uh, voltage in. DC and when I measure voltage I prefer the following setup with my multimeter on the ground I use a crocodile clamp and on power supply I uh, on the red I use a tip so I clamp the ground to the ground pin and put the tip there and we can measure we have 7.55 volts on the battery so the battery is really low it's a 9 volt battery and if it runs on 8 volts uh, it's really really low so next thing is this clamp is from the power supply that is at 9 volts and now look what happens if I plug it in it is instantly limiting so it's instantly limiting the current and it's at 7.5 volts. So in a moment it is recharging. I can also increase the voltage limiter, but I should not put too much power into it. Let's see how much power I can put into it. One ampere. 2 ampere if I put about 2.6 ampere I can fully load it and then I reach the limit so it does not charge more than 3 ampere so we can now charge the battery with 3 ampere in the meantime I'm showing you my soldering setup so this is a Polulu step up step down um, converter so you give it a if you look at the description at the at the printings on this circuit board you can read something like v out so one pin is marked as v out that's the outermost so like this pin and the middle has a square shape so i know it's the ground and the other of course is then the in voltage now i have two connectors that I can choose from to solder on and I'm using this uh, this anchored uh, um, pins so I put it on this way and then I can solder it this way then I'm using this connector for the battery where I put the ground uh, to the the black ground cable to the middle and the red one I soldered to the V in and for V out and ground I will use this pair of cables and to have it a little more convenient I can use this shrinking tube to hold them together so I put them both uh, into it and apply a little bit of heat to it and as and um, to the Raspberry Pi I will connect it the following I use so these both pins are 5 volt so I put it on this one and the black pin 
will be connected to the ground and now I can put the red one to be out so the outermost let's see if I can put the camera here so I have my V out this way and my ground this way so that's the whole trick and this way you get uh, about one to two hours of battery lifetime for your Raspberry Pi and if you want to have more capacity just take a second battery or a third and a fourth uh, or a whole package of batteries and put them in parallel so if you want to increase the capacity but um, want to keep the voltage um, the best way is to put them in parallel 